welcome again now we'll move to the next topic which is bushing or transformer uh hv side bushing and hv side bushing okay the bushing of power transformer is a type of porcelain or ebonite post insulator but on the top or side of the transformer tank through which connections are made to the external circuits the type of bushings are as follows number one proceed porcelain insulator bushing used up to 11 kV oil filled bushing consisting of hollow porcelain cylinder of special shape with a hollow tube shaped conductor through its center used for the voltage above 33 kV capsular type bushing made of thick layers of bakelite paper alternating with thin braided layer of foil being covered by a porcelain green shade and filled up with the bitumen in the annulus annulus space between the rain shade and the bushing used in outdoor substation for voltage above 33 kV okay here you can see this is a transformer and this is a bushing one part is connected to the transformer winding another part it will be connected to the transmission line or distribution line whatever this is the low voltage bushing the size of low voltage bushing is small because insulation less insulation is required okay the low voltage as i as told you it is of porcelain the high voltage is condenser bushing condenser bushing okay we will discuss now condenser bushing the general constructional detail are shown in figure 1 we will see the active part of bushing consists of an oil impregnated paper core manufactured from supplier grade craft insulating paper with condenser graded layers for field control bound under tension or central tube condenser conductor the inner most conden condenser layer is electrically connected to the fixing flange through a test top the core is dried under heat and vacuum and then impregnated with superior grade of insulating oil porcelain insulators on the upper and lower side of from of the bushing oil resistance high quality rubber gasket and o rings are held together with the central tube by means of a set of powerful spring okay the uh, another important thing is uh, the hv uh, bushing is given with a test tape point the test tape is provided for measurement of capacitance tangent delta and insulation resistance values of the bushing there is a one point which is called a tap point uh, during testing of the bushing uh, it will provide test point for the testing of capacitance tangent delta and insulation of the bushing it is connected with a copper lead to the last condenser foil of the core directly during normal service this test tape is electrically connected to the mounting flange uh, through test tape cover the threaded test tape cover must be fixed properly before putting into service okay here you can see the uh, detail of the bushing here you can see this is the top here you can see this is the terminal they have mentioned as a top terminal this is oil side glass In this side you will see a glass and you can see the oil level you can see the oil is up to this point oil filling plug uh, this plug in using this plug you are filling the oil in the bushing expansion bowl this is an another this this bowl itself it's called expansion bowl then you can see this is the spring okay here you can see the gasket hollow central metal tube this is the hollow central metal tube this is the upper porcelain again there is a gasket then there is a flange again here it is a air releasing screw when a transformer is normally energized first time the air is trapped in under the bushing so it is called air bleeding so bleeding is 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 done at this point then we have a green gasket then this point you can see this is a test tape tank delta point this, uh, for doing a tangent delta magring this this cap will be in screw shape it will be open and you can do the testing here again the porcelain lower than gasket and then again the base plate and stress 
Okay, this is the example of a very nice example of the bushing, HP bushing. Uh, another thing you might have noticed that bushing is not straight, it is in this uh, format zigzag up down up down up down what is the purpose of this the purpose of this if you take the straight line the distance is less but if you follow this path as per this bushing the distance is too much this is to this method is used to increase the creepage distance if creepage distance is less with the passage of time the chances of insulation failures are more dust will be accumulated and and the moisture and might be the salt so in order to decrease these chances one option is to increase the length of the bushing which is expensive another option is to provide these groups to increase the okay thank you this is a this was a, a complete lecture thank you very much